What's up, family? This is Jimmy of By the Hood, a.k.a. Eth Sweat. And on this episode, we're going to talk about the Aztec design on bars and rounds. Stay tuned. Last episode um, talked about the Morgan bar, and I showed a couple uh, of these Aztec bars within that um, episode. So I got this fondness for this actual bar. These are one ounce bars, the ones of this size. So this is a one ounce bar. This is a five ounce bar, just so you get an idea of the size, right? And so that's those two. This is a 10 ounce bar. So you can see the size of, you know, the bars next to each other, the 10 ounce bar here. Um, thing is, I gotta stop buying these, I gotta chill. I just absolutely love this design. And for the people out there who are stackers, I, I know you're telling me I'm paying too much premium for this design. Um, but look at this, this is like a work of art. This is on a one ounce bar right here. It's, it's just beautiful and you know, I got I got enough now at this point. I'm a chill, but I wanted to show this, like you know, just because it's so beautiful. It's some history here with this bar, um, and you know, I even went as far as buying some rounds, just because I kept buying this design. You know, good thing I couldn't find it in gold. I probably would have bought that too. It's just one of the most beautiful designs that I've seen. Like, just take a look at this. Look at the detail in this. And here's the, uh, like I said, the 10 ounce. Thing about this 10 ounce bar though, I've been looking at 10 ounce bars and I I think 10 ounces is the way to go when it comes to buying bars. So I try to stay buying, um, you know, my dips, my American Eagles. That's what I want my stack to be uh, focused on, buying as many of them as possible. But if I do wanna buy any sort of silver bars, I think 10 ounce is the way to go in terms of the premium and the value you get. And it's still um, liquid in my opinion. When I look to sell, there's a lot of people in the private market that are can afford a 10 ounce bar. You know, I, I can go up and buy a kilo bar, but how many people can afford that when I wanna um, unload it? Although I'm not looking to unload, to be honest with you, but this bar is just beautiful. Look at the detail of this. It's absolutely insane. But again, Man, and this is the five ounce right here. So, I'm gonna use the five ounce to talk a little bit about the history. So, um, this design was in honor of the Aztec calendar stone. If you see this design right here, and the stone itself was made from like lava and it weighed about 25 tons, and it was buried under the central square of Mexico City. And during construction in about 1790, it was found. And this is, you know, kind of what this is based on. As a matter of fact, here's a picture of the stone. Now, if you look at this stone, it features the face of the Aztec sun deity, Tana to it. Uh, so basically, he's the, the god of sun, or as I call him, the sun god. And you can see his, you know, face right in the middle of this design here. Um, it's just amazing to look at. It's just amazing to look at when you see the detail on these bars. And this face is surrounded by three distinct rings that each contain images of Aztec history. So if you're into Aztec history, um, I'm pretty sure you're very familiar with this image. And now if you look at this one right here, this is a Quatamoc. He was the last Aztec emperor, and he was executed by Spanish conquistadors in about 1525. But, you know, his image is still here to this day. And his face appears all over Mexican pop culture. And as you can see, three nines fine silver. It actually has his name there. If you want to, you know, see what his name looks like. And this one is five troy ounces. So you can see this is five troy ounces. Same design, but one troy ounce. Same design on this bar here, 
10 troy ounces and on these rounds, and so I got a couple of these rounds here too. These rounds are one troy ounce. But, you know, shout out to the sun god. You know what I mean? And, and, and shout out to the last Aztec emperor. Because, uh, you know, you guys will live forever <laughs> through these precious metals with this beautiful art. But at the end of the day, though, um, I'm not going to purchase too many more of these. Because if it's about return on investment, it's probably not the best investment um, when, you, when you look at the premium. Although, you can find them on sale. So, I did see these on sale at uh, SD Bullion uh, when I got these rounds. But... Nonetheless, could have put a couple more dollars and got my eagles. And that's my thing is the eagles, the dips as I call them. But I want to take this episode just to show this design. Because every time I show this design on my IG page, and make sure you follow me on IG, it's uh, at JW the Blueprint. Um, people go crazy because they, they see the same thing I see, this art. This is art right here, man. You know what I mean? Look at the sun god. Man, that's hard, man. Anyway, man, what's your opinion on this? Um, do you like these Aztec bars? Are you a fan of this, like, you know, art and the history behind this bar? Or do you care less and you just want to get, you know, as much silver as possible and don't really care about the art of it all? You know, let me know. If you have any questions, uh, please, please leave comments, leave feedback. Let me know what you feel about this Precious Metal series on our channel. Um, if you're looking to get started in precious metals, please hit me up, right? Because that's one of the things I want to do is get more people involved in this space, you know, as I continue to build out this stack. And this episode right here is about the Aztec design on bars as well as rounds. Remember, they're not coins. This is a round. And if you don't know why, you should be watching all of these episodes. So maybe go back and watch the playlist up here so you can understand why I'm saying round and not coin. And until the next episode, man, Make sure to keep stacking, man. See y'all see y'all on the next one. Peace.